Alrighty, what is up? What is up? Welcome back to another Fighter Showcase. Today, we are using the lightweight champion of the world, Charles Oliveira. Now, right now, it is the featherweight and the lightweight division. Anytime we have weight classes where um, the fighter I'm trying to use is in both weight classes, I tend to use the fighter Either way, because I'm not going to sit here waiting all day long just for the lightweight division to to come up. So, I understand we're doing this first fight in the featherweight division. And Charles is the lightweight champion, but it is still the same fighter that we're using. So, give me a goddamn break. Anthology this is a man of beat twice. Let's see if we can do it again. So, Charles, the champion of the lightweight division, set to face... Dustin the Diamond Poirier should be an interesting one, man. I, I these two guys, like, thank you. When I think about this fight, like, to be completely honest with you guys, like, the first thing that I think in my head is like, the very first thing I think in my head is this is this is going to be a fight where. If Charles Oliveira gets hurt, there's a very good chance, not even a very good chance, it is, I'd say, more than a 90% chance that if he gets hurt by Dustin Poirier, he's going to get finished, he's going to get stopped. Um, it's not going to be like getting hurt by Michael Chandler. It's not going to be like that. Oh my god, okay, this man really wants to work the body. I see you. I see you. Oh, -ho. what? Not even a rock on that, bro. Mm hmm. Oh, nice. Uh, not a bad combo. So he's made it pretty clear he really wants to work my body. Like, that much is clear. So, I guess that's the biggest thing to worry about. Maybe he's going to use that as a setup for other things. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, it's not going to be like getting rocked by... Uh, uh-huh. Nice. It's not going to be like getting robbed by Michael Chandler, where, you know, Chandler is not the ferocious finisher that Dustin Poirier is. Like, Dustin is one of the most bloodthirsty finishers. I mean, that's the best way to describe him. Like, when he hurts you, man, it's, it's ferocious. I mean, the shots, the way the punches come flying at you from all angles. He's a very, very good finisher, like, when he when he gets a fighter rocked. And, of course, it is no secret that, uh... It's no secret that Charles Oliveira is not the most durable fighter in the whole entire world. Like, he's not necessarily known for his durability. He's not a Max Holloway, for example. You know, put it that way. He's not a Max Holloway or Justin Gaethje or even a Dustin Poirier type where... He can withstand damage over and over and over and over again. Like, Charles is... He's pretty clean when it comes to fighting, like... And, uh... So I think... Like, I'm, of course, like... No one goes out there... And plans to get rocked. You know? No one goes out there with the plan to get... To get hurt in a fight. But... I think more than any other fight, especially because it's a championship fight, but mostly because of who he's fighting, how good his opponent is at closing the show, I think Charles is really going to need to be super tight with his defense in this one because, like I said, I think it's only going to take one rock. I, I really think so. I think in this one, it's going to take Dustin just one solid rock. And this fight's over. He's going to stop uh, Charles Oliveira. Um, so, there's been a lot of talk about uh, who has more tools. Like, I see that all the time, all over the place. Like, who's got more tools? Who's got more tools? Oh, shit. 
In my opinion, Charles Oliveira has more tools. I think Charles is a better kicker, that's for sure. Like, you guys can argue that all day long, but I think Charles is definitely a better, he's a more technical kicker, which means he has better technique on his kicks. I also think in terms of technique, like how clean their punches are, um, I think Charles Oliveira is on par with Dustin Poirier in terms of how clean their punches are technically. Pay attention to what I'm saying, for God's sake. Now, do I think he's a better boxer? No, I don't. And I think a big part of that is Dustin's durability. Like, his ability to take a shot, to give one, um, just makes him more dangerous when it comes to throwing hands. But technique for technique, I think Charles Oliveri can match Dustin Poirier. Charles throws a very good jab. He throws a very good cross. His hooks are one of the cleanest in that weight class. I mean, very tight, very short, very straight to the point. He throws very good uppercuts as well. He doesn't wind up on the shots. He keeps everything straight to the point. So, got him. Sit him down. Uh-oh. I think my boy is starting to give up a little. Yeah, clearly he's 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 getting uh, he's getting a little flustered here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they start standing completely still like that, you can tell that they're starting to get flustered. Look at him. Yeah, he's keep fighting, man. You're not doing bad. You're not doing bad. Leg kick, yeah, playing footsies with him. Another leg kick. Keep doing that, moving your head in the center. I'm gonna keep kicking your legs. I guess he's, jeez Louise. He probably is in a pretty bad mood. I mean, I don't really know what he expected me to do. It's like, you're standing completely still in the middle of the octagon, moving your head, trying to preemptively move your head. Like, I'm not gonna start throwing punches to your head. You know, come on now. You're sitting right there moving your head. I'm going to work your legs. That's exactly what I'm supposed to do. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe his dog just chewed up his internet cable. You know, maybe. I don't know. Something happened. <laughs> Something happened. I'm trying to figure out why he would uh, why he would bounce. He's just. He's, it's possible he's just not in a good mood. But, you know, that's just what happens. We are going to keep it pushing, folks. Let's get it. I apologize for this one, man. We got a mirror match. Try to avoid it. Try to avoid it, but uh, I'd rather get a fight. <laughs> I would rather get a fight. And it is so difficult, man. Sometimes just, you know. Let's get it. Go ahead, kick. Oh, I am in the blue corner, just for the record. I'm pretty sure you guys have figured that out by now. Nice. Check that. You know, the one place that I, I think maybe Dustin might have an edge, besides durability, which is just a big, big factor, as a fighter, man, the ability to take a shot. Because, I mean, in a fight, you're going to get hit. It's, <laughs> that's just, like, if you're going to become a fighter, like, you need to just, just understand that you're going to get hit. Which is, like, there's just no way. You know what I mean? There's, there's no way to, 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 to not get, well, unless your name is Hamza Chimaev. There you go. <laughs> oh, shit. This man just caught me bad with a rock. There we go. Got to get something back. Another one. Oh, shit. Whiffed. Mm-hmm. Another one. There we go. Oh, we just woke up. We just woke up. Don't get mad at me because I'm kicking your legs. 
Come on now. Don't get mad at me because I'm trying to kick your leg. What the heck is up with players today all pissed off that I'm kicking their legs? <laughs> all right. So, unless you're Hamza Chimaev, like, if you're getting to MMA, you, you, you better expect to get hit. So, it's like, durability is such a, it's such a big factor. The ability to take a hit and not just get sat down every time a big shot lands. So that's one advantage that Dustin definitely has. I think another advantage is I think Dustin Poirier blocks better. You know, he's got better blocks in terms of uh, deflecting damage. Got him. With Charles Oliveira, um, like when you start throwing multiple shots at him, I think his defense is a little bit porous. It's, it's, it's leaky a little bit. So I think Dustin will be able to sneak in shots through the guard here, here and there. And um, I just, man, I, I just, I see a situation where, like, if you, if I had to guess, I see a situation where Dustin hurts this man. Like, you know, he hurts him. Like, two scenarios. One, Dustin Poirier hurts him bad. Like, really, really hurts him. And uh, he's on, he's on wobbly legs. Dustin pushes forward on loads. A combination on him and stops him TKO second scenario which is very possible very very possible Dustin Poirier hurts him um, throws 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 follows Charles Oliveira to the ground uh, Charles Oliveira snatches up something you know reverses somehow I mean then again Dustin is a black belt in jiu-jitsu as well but I mean you can't really compare the two Charles is definitely the better grappler, 100%. He's more seasoned. He's more experienced right there. He's just more tactical down there. So, bro, what the hell are you doing? So, I think Charles definitely has the ability to submit Dustin Poirier, especially if he can find a way to take his back. If Charles can figure out a way to take Dustin Poirier's back, I think it could be GG's. Another guy that wants to stand in the middle of the octagon with me. What is going on today? King Muhammad. Yo, Muhammad, what the hell is wrong with you, bro? I'm down with this, bro. <laughs> I'm down with this. Just don't want him to have an excuse. This is the kind of player that's gonna send me a message for sure. You were running, you were whatever. I don't want him to have any excuses whatsoever. Rocked. There we go. Uh huh. Oh, that was close. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of a, of a little tournament that we did in UFC 1. I forget who hosted it, but I think I, I was actually the one that hosted the, the tournament. It was very interesting. It was a, a stand your ground kind of tournament, which, you know what? I really want to do this again. Essentially, you see this inside circle, the inside octagon right here? In the tournament, your back... Yeah, that, your back foot could not exit the circle. If it exits the circle, you lose, essentially. So you had to stay inside of that second circle and fight it out for, a, for I think, like a, yeah, a full fight. Boom, fight starts. You both enter the circle and do not exit. Whoever's foot exits the circle loses. And that was a very, very, very interesting stream. I remember that vividly and i kind of think i want to do something like that again i want to do it again call all the best players in the world all the best strikers in the world and let's see oh my god that is what we call a fucking banger dude 
am. If you've not left a like on the video yet, go right ahead and drop a like on the video. I mean, that combination that we just stopped him with was brutal. Boom, boom. Ha <laughs> ha. That was like a beautiful four hit shot to kill that man. Let's move on. One more, folks. All right, this is where we are going to end it. Hope you guys are enjoying the fighter showcase so far. Oh wait, that is is that the same is that the same Mac? I think it's the same guy. Oh my goodness. Mac Malley. Come on, let's give you a bow, brother. Let's get it. Let's get it. I don't think I've ever played this man on, on ranked, so very curious to see how he plays. Alright. I'm gonna try to just give like I'm gonna try to back up. And just play him super clean. Let's give him ground. Let's give him ground. Give him space to work. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. He got me. Cover again. <laughs> Another one. Damn. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. Oh, tease, Louis. <laughs> Dude, what the heck is going on right now? Yo. <laughs> okay. If I survive the first the, the first round, I'm just going to go at him in round number 2. But let's keep let's keep playing this way cuz this is the the way I'm playing right now is the worst way to fight him while he's doing this. Like Oh my god, he could actually knock me dead right now. With the way I'm backing up like this. But uh, I'm going to give him time to work, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, let's see if I can survive this. Flying knee. Oh, my God. Come on, Mac. <laughs> Jeez, no. Oh, my God. What is going on right now, bro? This is so funny. This is so funny. <laughs> oh my god, he is so dangerous right now, dude. Come on, let's deter him a little bit. Just a bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Deter him just a bit. I do kind of want to survive this round. There's a fly in me again. Oh boy. Oh my god, it sits me down again. Jeez Louise. Hold on. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Ah, oh, look at my head health now. Okay. <laughs> he slaps me in the end. <laughs> this is one of the funniest fights I've got in this game in a long time, bro. Okay, so round number two. Let's actually go fight this guy. Let's actually go fight this guy. Um, jeez, man. Hey, bro. Like, I gave you that round, man. I gave you the first round to do work, so... Don't complain, man. Oh, no. He's taunting me. He's confident now. He's comfy now. Oh. Oh, this is it's gonna go downhill here, bro. It is gonna go downhill, brother. <laughs> oh my god it is gonna go downhill for you my man oh look at him come here mac come here boy where you going hey 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 come here come here come here come here there you go there you go hey 
What was that shit you were doing earlier, bro? Come, come, yeah, come. I'm just I'm not trying to hurt you, bro. I'm just trying to talk. Hey. I'm just trying to have a conversation, bro. I'm just trying to talk to you about our Lord and personal Savior. Why are you running from Jesus? Why are you running? Why are you running from Jesus? Come here. Come on. Ow. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, Mac. Mac Malley. Where are you, Mac? <laughs> He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's up. Come on. Oh boy. Why the fuck you run? And, and the fight is over. Oh, good fight, bro. GG. Hey, he came, he came to bang. That man came to fight. Came out like a freaking bazooka. That dude came out like he had to go take a shit or something. Damn, flying knees, spinning elbows, wheel kicks, knee elbows. I mean, ugh. Yeah, with someone like that, you, you just got to go fight him, bro. You can't hang back like that. Okay, that does it. We are going to end the fighter showcase right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go right ahead and leave a like on the video. It definitely helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out.